Hey gang, welcome to another video tutorial with Nanny Crypto. Thank you for joining me. To all our new subscribers to this page, I welcome you and look forward to creating more content for each and every one of you to help with the crypto trading world. As we know, um, Bitcoin is currently sitting around $8,075. Um, we reached a bit of a bottom um, over the last few weeks, last few days, so hopefully we'll see a turnaround. We're not really out of the woods just as yet, uh, but hopefully this reversal will be positive for both Bitcoin and the alt markets. So with this change in the market, we find ourselves in a situation where we are there are so many coins that are setting up at the moment and sometimes it's really hard to keep track of all of them. So TradingView has a really cool tool that will allow us to set up an alert um, when we feel that we are ready to buy in or when we would like to sell. So let's quickly jump, um, we'll jump straight into it and we'll do this quick video. Now here we have um, Bitcoin. Now for all of those uh, that are new to the channel, we are running a, the BOSS method, which is the 7, the 77 and the 343. Sorry, the 7, the 77 and the 231. We are running on a 343 minute chart. Um, as we can see, this is what I was mentioning before about this bottom that it's currently hit from 31st of March all the way to the 11th of April. So for a couple of weeks, it was kind of doing a nice bottom. Have we seen the bottom of Bitcoin? Um, only time will tell. So that's definitely one to keep an eye out for. Now, the reason I thought I'd create this video, I'm just going to um, zoom in a bit on this chart, is there are times when you're going to want to set up an alert for you to tell you that Bitcoin or another altcoin has either surpassed a value and that you're happy to buy it or you want it to kind of, it's on the way down and you want to catch it before um, it keeps on going down. So in this scenario, let's just say if we look at the market around, around this area, so if we look at the market around this area, you'll excuse all um, these other different lines. I'll just um, briefly turn them off for you so we don't get confused with all these lines. So if we look at that um, area, just in, in that blue rectangle, we'll see there's actually quite a lot of Resistance. This resistance was hit um, on the way down from 10,000 and then it hit um, when we tried to do the reversal back on the uh, mid-March, hit again around 9,000, 9,200 and went back down again. So for those people who are looking out for Bitcoin and would like to buy Bitcoin when, say, this specific area has been cleared, then the alert would be set up in the following way. So right here we have the alert. Let me click on create alert. Now we'll create the alert based on the chart that you're using. So that's my BTC to USD. Now you can either set the alert crossing up, crossing down, if it's greater than, less than, if it's entering a certain channel, outside a channel. So for now I'm just going to leave it as crossing. Now if we follow that, and let's just say, I don't want to buy Bitcoin until it clears this last peak. Just move this to the other side, which was at, let's just say 10,000. So I don't want to buy Bitcoin because I don't know if it's going to go up or down. So we'll say 10,000. Now you can either set it up every time it hits that resistance or that price line, or you can only set it up once. So mine's going to be set up as of today. Um, now, if I'm online, I want it to show me a pop-up, I want it to play a sound, but you can also set up an email. 
Now, for those who are wanting the premium account, you can actually send the email and send yourself an SMS. However, I'm not running the premium account. I'm just running the pro account. So I'm going to set it up to send myself an email and I'm going to click create. Now, what that will actually do, it will set up a dotted line, which is this line right there. And once that line gets crossed, then it will say, OK, I have reached that line. So you'll see that alert right there. Now, you, that alert can be moved. Sorry, it's just, a, it's actually right on, the reason it was green was right on top of the Fibonacci. Um, but that's the alert there. And that alert can be moved um, to wherever you want it to be. So for now, we're just going to leave it on the 10,000. And we're just going to just cancel that. And we're going to return. So that's how the alert is set up. Now, this is one example. I'm just going to quickly jump into another chart, which is ONT. And we're going to try, and I'm going to run it one more time for you. Now, this has been a coin that's been running pretty wild um, since it basically came out to the market. If we go back to the end of March, it did a 314% jump in two weeks. So it's pretty well. However, this is a coin that a lot of people have, believe have a lot of, has a lot of potential and should be going a lot higher. So another reason I might set up an alert is because if we're following this method, this chart is currently done at 20% correction. 28% correction, which is pretty nice. Let's just say I've done um, the technical analysis of the chart. I've looked at the, um, the volume, the price. I've looked at where it's currently um, at, as we said, 28%. And I believe it's going to bounce off this line. So what I can actually do is I can set an alert so that when it crosses that line, and we will run a price, let's just say um, 48.50. 48.50. Again, we'll leave it now. This one I can change so that when it's crossing down, okay, and I'm going to go create. So, same kind of thing. When ONT crosses that line, I'm going to get an email and it's going to say, this this coin is now across this line. Now, the idea of having these alerts set up is one, you can have multiple alerts set up so that way you don't have to um, keep an eye on each and every coin. Um, the other really important thing is, um, and another reason you would set up these charts, is if you're waiting for a coin, let's just say you're following ADA and you're thinking, okay, I missed the run. Let's just say you don't have ADA and you missed the run. There was a huge spike in the volume today and you're thinking, I need to wait for it to retrace. Or you're thinking, no, if it doesn't retrace here, so let's just say it goes past, and there seems to be a bit of a resistance around here, then I could say if the coin goes above 3,100, so let's just say we set up another alert, um, and I say if it crosses on the way up, let's just say 31, 31.50, create, then I want to get back in again because if I'm waiting for the coin to go back or to do a pullback, because this is, if I change this quickly to the one hour timeline, we will see that this was kind of a bit of a, a jump in about uh, one, two, three, four, about six hours. So even though I'd like to jump back in right now, it's, it's kind of going parabolic. So there isn't a point to do that right now. However, if it reaches that alert, then it's telling me it's not going to pull back and it's just going to keep on going up. up. So if I look at this coin using our method, which is our boss method, We've now had, so it broke back in early April, has gone way up, so it's currently gone up 
44%. And so if I look at the different lines of the boss map, then we've got 7, which is going up, 77, which is cleared. And I think the two things are not going to do this. So this is a very, very strong chart at the moment. Um, I've actually made profits on this coin already. However, I will be definitely be looking into a buyback um, as soon as either that um, that peak or that big volume that we got today pulls back or it goes past that line. So that would be another reason we've set up the alert. I'm just going to quickly jump into one of the higher volume coins. Let's just look at Ethereum for my argument's sake. And I'm going to try and see if we can get the alert to go off while we are doing the video. And that way I'll give you guys a really good idea of how it works. That, might be, that one might be a bit tricky. Let's try ICX, which is also a very good coin. Let's try and set up the alert. So I'm going to set up the alert to 36 only once and go create. Now if I look at the price currently, okay, perfect guys, this is awesome. So um, I got a ring in my ear because um, I'm wearing my headset. So the ring sets up the alert because I was online and says, hey, it's reached your 3600. Now please remember this is just a once off alert. So in my case, it reached it as we can see, it's gone down to $35.99. Um, I'm just going to quickly, I'm just going to open, I've just got in the email, so I'm going to try and uh, bring this email over to the screen so I can show you guys what the email looks like when you actually get it. Just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to grab a quick screenshot because it's not letting me move the, the alert over. Just give me this little some data here. Terrible drawing sometimes. Okay. I'm just going to quickly move this over. So this um, was the trading view email that I got. So if I hadn't been in front of the screen, I would have received an email, and that's all it says. I see it's XBTC crossing at 3600, and that's it, and my alert. So, like I said, guys, just another great tool that we have um, available for you in TradingView, and that will allow you to set up those alerts for those four or five coins that you want to keep an eye on but aren't ready to purchase just yet. Well, that's it for today, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed the content. Um, always please remember to um, press that thumbs up. That will help us to spread the content to other people who would find this video useful. If you have somebody that you feel would benefit from, please remember to share and um, send them a link to this Trading View Alerts video. Um, just a couple of quick references. Um, always remember we have the number one Bitcoin group in the world, which is um, the Facebook group group that we are all members of. It's an awesome community, 23,000 members. I'm one of the moderators there and the content on this group is just amazing. There's people who share their content and share charts, knowledge, articles, and just there's so much information out there. It's a really good community. First of all, it's a community free of spam or Ponzi schemes and anything else that will, you know, anyone who will try and take your money from you. And this is um, thanks to Brendan Kelly, big shout out to him. Um, he is the sole owner and creator of the Boss Method. And everybody here um, has come together to help out. And, you know, if we're not teaching someone, we are helping someone and um, everybody's learning, which is great. Um, and also, just quickly, um, Boss of Bitcoin, this is Brandon Kelly. Um, I have come together with Brandon to help him out with the different, um, I guess, services that he's offering. Um, we are now offering a one-on-one, -on -one, which is a meeting with me for me to help you out 
definitely great for those who are new to crypto for those people who want to learn how to read the charts set up the boss method use trading view maybe get someone to go through your portfolio and make sure see if you're on the right track i know there's a lot of people out there who started and weren't sure what they were doing and have coins that they've held forever they're at a loss and they're really not sure what to do so the idea of these sessions is to help you out empower you so that you can learn how to read the charts and, and start making some significant profits um, once again guys thank you for following me thank you for your support and um, until next time hope this helps have a great evening thanks talk to you soon